Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the brush lettering I did on uh, Tuesday's tutorial of the April word art because I know it's something a lot of you are keen to learn um, and although I might not be doing full-on lettering tutorials ever really, I'm more of a illustrator, I wanted to talk to you uh, just about a few of the basics. So the key thing is first what brush to use. Well I like to use a pointed round brush um, you also want to make sure your brush has got a good snap in the bristles, so a synthetic bristle brush is perfect. So it just so happens that my Pro Art brushes that I sell as a set on my Etsy store are my favourite brushes to use. Um, you'll have seen me use them very happily in there. And what we need to have a play around with is how you hold the brush. So I've got a size 2 brush, which is what I used in this one. And essentially, if you hold the brush nice and high, vertically above the page, it means that you can get a good control of really turning it around, changing direction, and really curling the brush around um, for a nice thin line. And then holding it more like a pen and being able to get a lower angle and a nice thick line. So what I would recommend is having a play around with holding the brush and seeing what kind of control you can get holding it in those different angles because you can achieve the thin and thick with both handles of brush but it's more about when you start to actually write in lettering. So what I've done is I have prepared a sheet here which has some guidelines on it in pencil. I just used my ruler to first just draw in the top and bottom line to create these lines here and then I found a line that was just lower than the middle and for that, that allows me to guide myself drawing in some very loose letters with a capital filling the hole and a lowercase letter just filling midway and then if it needs to go higher that's fine and then you can play around with the alphabet to your heart's content. Now as a left-hander I just prefer to do my brush lettering backwards and I'll just move the page over so you can see because I know when I have my brush high over the top we need to make sure that the side camera can really see what I'm doing but I've always found that a downward stroke I want to be pressing harder, so for example like this and then for upward strokes a thinner line but then we have the challenge of wanting to go thin to thick to thin and then at times like this I go well I've done that but now I'm going to get my brush in on an angle and I might just come in and thicken that up like that. So you can see I'm using the brush both as a vertical but then I also might like to get in on the side and really squish it down. And you might find that you want to use actual calligraphy ink to play around with this and not watercolour paint and that's absolutely great. The great thing is, is this technique works whether you're using ink or paint but those are my top tips for getting started in brush lettering is getting really comfortable with the two ways of holding the brush whether it's from the side like this or from above like that and on the whole the rule being that the downward stroke is going to have thickness to it and that the upper strokes are going to have a thinner line and then you can get really cool things like that 
the A is a good example of thin up and then coming down and I really like those raw edges that you get but anyway I hope you enjoyed that little quick fix um, and it will help you create pieces a little bit like this thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time